Welcome back. I'm Zoinkmeister Adam, joined by Zoinkmeister Patrick. Yeah. And we're playing Bound for PlayStation 5. Wahoo! And she's like going to tell him that she's pregnant and that he has a grandbaby coming and that maybe he could be come back and be part of her life, part of his life, part of the child's life. That appears to be the father. That's the, ooh, oh, she's, she's in the chair this time. Yeah. Our dancer. Chucky. Ooh, okay. Whoa, it's her kingdom now, I guess. She like controls it. It was falling apart, remember, in the last one. Yeah, and now, now it's, it's like, completely. It's, well, yes, but it's coming together, I think. Let's see. Let's see, I'm not gonna do my roll jump. Oh, it's like, oh, no, 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 sorry. That was just camera angle. It looks super cool though, right? <laughs> Where I was like running along here and there was like a chasm was opening behind her. Yeah, has this been a church? A is that what this is? Oh. It could be. Yeah, some sort of cathedral. Because there's like pews or something. Oh, maybe it's like a wedding or something. Like maybe she's getting married. Like maybe that's why it starts here. Maybe she just got married. I don't know. Maybe her father wasn't there. All right, I'm gonna. Maybe she's about to get married and asking her father to be there. Ooh, yes. Yeah, it could be. Let's see if she has any extra dance for me or she's just gonna look tired. No, she's just looking tired. All right, let's do this. Is this a ribbon run? This is not a ribbon run. Oh, but it's like, no, I think that was the camera angle again. Makes it look cool. Uh, see how it's like tightening? Yeah, it's camera angle for sure. It makes it look scary though, I feel like. I don't know, maybe it's just me. I'm surprised this isn't a ribbon run moment. Is that the, that's the brother over there on the left. Yeah, he's clenching to the side. Yeah, he's covered in burns still. Um, we should call him Richard Burns. Um, it is a Jean La Unicorn. <laughs> Jean La Unicorn. Jean La Unicorn. And Jackie Unicorn. And Henry Unicorn. And Henrietta Unicorn. They made it a, <laughs> at a hen convention. <laughs> <laughs> It's father. It is father. You can't yell at me no more, father. It's a door. Oh, Maybe this is the door we've been going toward the whole time is the door to his house. And we've been like slowly like working up the courage to get there. Yeah. And so we've been like stopping along the way, not because we we're pregnant, but because because uh, we were trying to gather up the courage to, to visit the father once and for all. Yeah, so yeah. So I think he left. I think you're right. He's crying for sure. And she's not happy. And the, the girl is running. Towards, towards the father, yeah. But well, we don't know what she's running towards. I no, mean, no, assuming no, we that we're we assuming it's the father. Yes, but I think that's gonna be the big reveal. It is. Father. Is it the father? Maybe the savior was. Um, he left. Yeah. I wonder if that's like reversed audio or something. I don't Maybe. know. Um. But imagine the idea is we can't understand what he's saying. So yeah, we have the whole room now, so I can actually like. Fully explored. I don't think I don't think there's anything to oh, see. Oh no, no no you're right. There, I thought there was a whole room here. Man, that's crazy though. So yeah, he definitely he left. He left them. Um, so that old man must be the father. So I get I get why then he's like considered the bad guy throughout the whole thing because he's the one that left. You know. Yeah. It makes more sense. Um, what was I? I was I had one more thing to say, but uh, I, I know a thing or two about people leaving families and break. You know yeah. what? I'm not gonna get into this. Yeah, yeah. Let's let's. Well, we can talk about it like during the credits. That's like you know reflection stuff. I don't want to hold this up in too much longer. Father, why did you leave us? Because you're a bunch of whores. Because. Because I could. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. Big villain vibes. Whoa, that's heartbreaking. Because I could. Because nothing was holding me back. The kingdom is going erratic. Yeah. That's yeah, really freaking out back there. broken all of it so he was the monster i guess so no this was just in her head maybe maybe she's that's what she's afraid of happening her last fear oh okay just a cutscene i think so can you do any no okay i don't think so i think it's just happening i'm gonna ring the doorbell she's afraid though but she's conquered her fears she's conquered bad she's conquered Conquer's bad fur day. Oh, she spent the whole day on the beach just... Yeah, no, it was, it was daytime when we got... Oh, I can leave or I can talk to him. So we do have alternate endings. So it's X to talk to him. It's or circle. circle to just walk away. Do you believe in life after love? No. Oh, well then. <laughs> I guess we should just go. Uh... 
I really don't think I'm strong enough. Oh. Well, remember, I only said there's three types of love. <sighs> Was fatherly love one of them? Yeah. Parental love. So let's go for it, I guess. Yeah, let's do it. All right. <sighs> let's do this. I'm ringing that doorbell. I really got to lock in that decision. No, I don't. I oh my God, I changed my mind. Leave. <laughs> <laughs> ah! What's the worst he could do? Push me off the ledge and... Yeah, he like comes out. He's yeah, like... With a shotgun. Like, like, hey, hey. Yeah. <laughs> Who are you? Get off my property. I'm not going to let you ruin this family again. Yeah. But if he has a new wife and kids and he's like, I don't know who you are. Oh, but she ripped out all the fears. She just handed the notebook. Interesting. It's probably her childhood drawings. Yeah. Like her childhood diary. Interesting. Reach out and touch me. Boy, oh boy. Huh. I was kind of hoping for a little more than that, but I guess it's kind of open. Oh, wait, maybe there's more level? I don't know. Maybe. The kingdom's reforming, I think. Maybe. I I don't know what to expect. I don't. Oh, that's oh. it. Credits. Okay. Wow. Interesting. Okay, definitely a lot of stuff up to interpretation then because uh, there was like no like dialogue. I mean, there was dialogue, but you know, it was in the like fictional world. This is oh. probably copyrighted music. Is this a, uh, what Not is it, a check American game? Company. Or like yeah, a something. <laughs> plastic. I'll look at, what are they called again? Uh, Modern just... Dance Performer. Yeah, they did have dance choreographer. Yeah, so it was- uh, Maria Odad. If it wasn't mocapped, it was at least um, like- And Machal. Referenced. Vocals Adam were all Grawl. done by Judy Louvain. Louvain. Yeah, look up Plastic. I think it was just called Plastic Works or something like that. Uh, ooh, nice interpretive dance. It's pretty cute. Got her doing her little thing with the little strings. She's showing the power. But yeah, they didn't really tie dance into the story at all. It just kind of happened. Like, I thought it was going to be... We didn't really figure out who the savior was, unless it was the brother. Maybe the brother was? I don't know. Maybe if we went back to the beginning, we'd recognize who the savior was. Or maybe it was the brother. The dad was the savior? I don't know. I don't think the no, dad he was, was the savior. monster. No, he was I the think monster. The, I think the boy was the savior. I see. Uh, Plastic Studios. Plastic Studios, yeah. I feel um, like this has to be copyrighted music. Uh, probably 100%, but that's okay. Because yeah, that's we fine. Are, uh, we'll take the hit on it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, it's okay. Uh, that's fine. It's nice. I like it. Yep, and there's Sony Santa Monica. Um, why can't I find... Plastic Studios, whatever? Yeah, I found Plastic Studios, but... It's Where they're, they're based? Me. Because essentially, you could do those levels in any order, so we never had a level where we could ignore the paper airplanes because that was the last one we did. I thought it was going to be one more level, like final, where you had to, like, you had, you could, you were, like, not afraid of anything, and you could just, like, fly through the whole level, and, and it was, like, it was, like, your last, like, approach to the father. Because we got over all our fears, right? Like, I don't know, maybe the journey is more important. I was just trying to figure out, like, why you'd pick the car. Because maybe it's the idea is, like, she got what she needed from this journey, and she yeah, doesn't she need to talk. she got over everything, she doesn't yeah. need him. Yeah, exactly. Um, but I don't know. I don't know. I think it was worth, um, you know, you made the trip. I think it's worth giving someone a, a t conversation. I don't know. People probably disagree. Probably think people like that are not worth ever talking to again. But, um, yeah. I mean, it's not cool that he abandoned his family. But, I mean, I get, like, wanting to get out of a relationship that's bad, um, if it's toxic and all that. But the oh, fact that he just, me, like... I know a thing or two about that. Yeah, but the fact that he, like, walked out and wasn't a part of their lives, like, it's very different from, like... Wanting to separate from the mom, but still why can't I find anything on these people? Plastic Studio, <laughs> like but still wanting to be a part of his children's life. Like the fact that he left his children as well is kind of what makes it a bit more uh, hard to forgive, I guess. For some people, I could say. Um, luckily, I've never had that problem personally, which I am very lucky for. Uh, but I know a lot of people have. They did a, a game called Dachura in Dodge. 2012 and Linger in the Shadows in 2008. I don't think I'm familiar with those. I might recognize if I saw the cover or something, but I don't recognize the name. I like can't this even find a This is an English song. Origin. I can tell you that. Yeah, they all had a lot of interesting letters in their names, so they're definitely not like a, I don't know, purely Latin. <laughs> got some, got some, got some bonus letters. In there. I'm like having to read through Wiki. Uh... Like that's crazy it. that it doesn't just no, say. No, like I just want like a country of origin. Did you try? Ah, oh, did you try just googling like where's Plastic Studios from? Okay, I'm just gonna do it. No one saw. If it's embarrassing. Oh. Whoa, my pants were down for a solid second. Oh, this used physics, and that's interesting. I don't see it. I don't know. This is old enough to use physics. Yeah, I, I don't know why I can't get anything. They're like clearly like 
They like Eastern good, European, right? Or like Yeah, or something northern, like Scandinavian area, whatever. Yeah, somewhere in that general vicinity. One of those back to backs. Those are pretty credits. I don't it's know. Is it just gonna be like this? Or game just be like this sometimes. Sometimes the game just really do be like this sometimes. Should I hit a button or oh, okay, it's doing something. Is it? Oh, yeah, wait, yeah, it's square. Dots. Yeah. <gasps> Yay, speedrun menu has been unlocked. Permanent picture setting has been added to the options menu. Okay. Turned on, vignette, film grain, and color filter settings adjusted. The photo mode will remain enabled during normal gameplay. Oh, interesting. You could change the way the game looks. So I can actually... Oh, man. So we have to go through an entirely different game to get the other... Oh. So, but you have a speedrun menu, so you can pick... Wow. So you can do a single level run if you want to. I see, and you can like change the HUD alignment and stuff, so you have a lot more like options. Best time, two hours, four minutes, 39. False counter on, shards info, dang. Show ghosts, all. So it took us about two hours to play this game. That's not too bad. Yeah, that's The really same good. amount of time as it took me to play Wolf, but I enjoyed this. Yeah. So big difference. Um, You haven't completed this yet, but. I have not. Do we want to give a quick like, um, quick thoughts on like current feelings about like ratings and stuff like that? Uh, sure, sure. Why not? I'm I'm always down to uh, talk about games. That's my whole, that's my whole career. Yeah. So. Oh. Is there no trophies for this game? No, there were. Go down. Oh, I mean, yeah, there it is. Uh, we wow. got two out of twenty-seven. So. A second time. Choosing levels in a in different, different order. order. That's pretty easy. We just went through the correct the game order in one time. session without dying, with Edgeguard turned off. We'll Interesting. Do that later. Why is it only point zero one percent? That'll be very hard. I can assure you that'll be very hard. <laughs> Complete one level from the speedrun menu. That's pretty simple. Chest level in less than six. Interesting. Trees in less than five. 434, Shout. that one. Out of breath, 615. 640, cut into the sky. Pearls. Pearls, 445. Less than 50 for the whole game. Wow, that's like half Complete my the game in less than 105 and collect every memory shard. What the heck is that memory? I collected zero memory shards. Oh, oh wow. Great. Shortcut. And then hidden trophies. Yeah. Find the hidden island of tr on the oh. trees level. Wow. So there's a lot of there's, hidden stuff. Oh, 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 oh. Jeez. Okay. That's crazy. Unofficial there's a review. lot of stuff. So, Very unofficial. There's a yeah, lot of stuff we missed. A lot of things going on. That's unfortunate. Yeah. I kind of um, want to like look up one of them for like the first level just to show one off like real quick. Is that possible? Nope. Okay. So, <laughs> um, yeah. So, what do you think of this game? I thought it was extremely beautiful. Yes. Um, I thought it had a message that was a very, uh, how should I say this? It, it hits all the like the, the depressing, relatable stuff. Like none of it is like impossible at yeah. all by any standards. No. In yeah. fact, a lot of that like I could like relate to in a weird, distant way. Yeah. Uh, that I won't explain. Yeah. So it sure did make me feel sad and make yeah. me feel like I have to be a better parent, even though I'm a pretty good parent as is. <laughs> so. Yeah. Um, yeah, it hit all the, the chords of sadness and like impact and like the music, the way it swelled at certain points. So it was like a lot going on that made yeah. this a really good game. Yeah. Uh, mechanically, I didn't play it. Yeah. Um, I can tell you though, um, I mean, I don't know, like, yeah, I, I don't know. It was very like, it was a little loosey, I guess, a lot of times. It was kind of, again, any platforming game that's 3D and doesn't have really any good indication of where you're going to land. You just have to go off of like your distance from the screen, which isn't impossible. It's just a lot of things like disappear and reappear and stuff like that. And it makes it hard to tell. Like, I think, like, where I was going that one time I kept trying, I kept failing. That might have been one of the secret islands. Uh, unclear. But um, this game could be really hard just because of the fact that, like, I mean, the platforming is very reliable. Like, it's, like, your jumps are always the same length and stuff like that. But it can be hard to gauge distances, I feel like, uh, in this game of, like, abstract shapes and colors and stuff like that. Um, so I feel like just a casual playthrough of it was fun and short enough to, like, not get aggressive and the fact that like every level got easier the more you did just because you had less stuff to deal with uh made it fun and the fact that like built off of itself and, yeah i like the interpretive story and then like the, everything about the story was interpretive right i mean the fact that like even when we saw the real world and what was really going on it was still an interpretive like we had to we were only visually looking at it like we, they they never explicitly said what was happening we just had to like see it and get it you know it's like yeah the fact that they never just very you know so many stories are just like this is what's happening do you get it yet yeah no. do you get it fox a lot boy of it was, <laughs> better luck next time fox. yeah a lot of it was a uh, absolutely a bunch of like you know what do you what do you see here right exactly and like versus like what do you think is happening versus what is actually happening because you get to see everything you know after yeah but it's like 
open to interpretation. For the most part, I think we were pretty solid on. Right. I mean, like, I think so too. The entire too. time. But like the fact, I'm going to talk about the fact that like they didn't view their audience. Like they respected, I guess, the intelligence of their audience to like get what was happening. They didn't like, they didn't, they didn't feel the need to like throw it in your face too much and be like, uh, do I, you get it yet? <laughs> hilariously, I don't think the audience was taken into a, account at all. I think this was like an art piece in itself. Mm. Like, I think this is more yeah. like the developers kind of putting out what they wanted. Yeah. And it's like, you know, take it or leave it. Like, this is the art that's being presented, which I, I think is really, really good. Especially yeah. considering that, like, like th this walkway right here is like the pathway to like, you know, the beach where it's yeah. like, okay, we're just some lady on a beach. Yeah. Not realizing that not only you're going over your fears, every single step of the way you're getting, you know, you're ripping a page out. You're getting closer to the house. Yeah. Like you were dropped off hours ago. Like yeah. they show you, like this is the early morning you're dropped off at. And by right. the end it's like sunset. Yeah. You spent the whole day just contemplating getting up to the, like building up the, uh, the internal courage to try to face your father after he yeah. left you years and years ago. Yeah. Like that's a, that's a tough pill to swallow. And you don't even realize yeah. that from the start. And if you manage to, if you do come back and play this game like off camera mm -hmm. um, and you play through it a second time, cause that's one of the achievements to pick a different order. Yeah. If you could for all of us record the alternate ending where you get in the car oh, yeah, yeah, and yeah. just slap that. If you do that before the series finishes going up, if you wouldn't mind just like slapping that so we can see what the other ending looks yeah, like. Cause yeah. otherwise we have to, like, we're not going to replay this whole game. No, 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 no. But Adam will have to for achievements if he goes for it. If so. I go for it, we'll see. Because that last one about doing the entire game and not dying once with no edge guard on sounds real complicated. Yeah, yeah. But I would be interested to see, like, also, again, if, if you do decide to go through them again and you decide to find any of those islands, just showing off, like, one time what that looks like. You don't need me here for it. But, like, any of that, I, I would be very interested to see, like, what any of the secrets look like in this game. Like, it don't, we don't have to see all of them, but at least one of them just to see what that yeah, looks like. Yeah, that might be its own separate video where it's, like, all Yeah, a little you know, bonus video at the end or something. Bonus video, like, yeah, yeah shard, I, or what is it called? Like, shard pieces and, like, islands. Yeah, we didn't get a single memory shard. Like, yeah. what is that? Like, it would just be nice to see what some of those things are just because I feel like we missed a large portion of this game, which I, I feel bad about because I, I felt like this game is really pretty and those could be really potentially, like, you know, more deepening parts of the story, which are, I feel like any additional story be beats were... Uh, would be appreciated just because I liked where everything went. I liked all of the stories. Like you said, they all felt very realistic. None of them felt very crazy. Like they went on a, they were going to go on a family road trip, but the car broke down. And so they're all yelling at each other. And it's like, I can feel that. Like, I get it. It's not crazy. You yeah, know? yeah, no, like, I mean, even like the tragic part where like the, 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 the kid what got we, like, what do we call him? Uh, uh, Jean, Jean Law. Law, yeah. Jean Law Unicorn. When he, uh, when he like tipped the boiling water on, on himself and like, yeah, you know, like we could all be like, oh, the dad was sleeping and the mom was just watching TV. Well, yeah, of course they were. They were just, right. they didn't expect it to yeah, happen. Exactly. It was like a normal day. Yeah, just, no, yeah. no one expects the cooking. kid to like, yeah, you don't, yeah. can't watch like stare at your kids 24 seven. Like eventually you're just going to be like, yeah, I'm sure they're not going to like yeah. kill themselves, they're right? Fine. And even That'd though, be crazy. They were like within literally like a 10 foot distance. Yeah, exactly. So you're like, like there's like, no way. They're like, yeah. I can see them out of the corner of my eye. He's fine. Like yeah. nothing's going to happen. Yeah, like, exactly. So, I mean, even like the stuff that it would be like, you know, considered a tragedy for this story, it was like still like, yeah, you know, like, you want to blame somebody like you could see how this could be like an extremely stressing event on the family yeah, yeah. because you, you can tell that the same way we're trying to pin blame you, you know the parents try to do that yeah They're exactly like, why were yeah. you were sleeping when yeah. you were watching tv blah blah yeah, you know yeah. it's like and then the daughter or uh the jackie's probably like i was right there yeah i could have done something and i'm I sure said like something. yeah and i'm sure like i saw you know, him do it john know? law is like why did i do that yeah exactly yeah yeah, yeah they all like can blame themselves and each other and... so it's a dysfunctional family where yeah. like the mom blames the dad and the dad did yell a lot but yeah the same time he did end up leaving he was the villain right but the brother was a savior but also he would blame her when he broke stuff so it's like yeah, it's, a exactly. lot, it's a lot yeah. going on it's a very yeah. dysfunctional yeah family. very toxic relationships all around and it's just yeah it sucks it's unfortunate but it's can be real life and i feel like i wonder how real this was for the developers like i wonder if any of these were like actual yeah. childhood let me, stories let me look up the uh the head developer or writer for this story yeah i would be interested to find out if if um if this was like kind of a true story or based on a true story in some way um, or even if not just one person's true story, but like several people's accounts of like different parts of their life, uh, that'd be interesting. Um, cause I know like that dragon cancer is a game I'd love to show off on this channel. It's really, really depressing, but, um, it's kind of like this where it's like very interpretive and it's about like a person's like actual real life story that was very depressing and sad. The creative director of bound is Michal Stanis. Oh man. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Go on. Uh, Stanis. Senesescu? So no, sorry, Senesescu. I'm not good at uh, 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 Cyrillic pronunciations. Yeah, I have no I'm, idea. I'm really bad at it. Um, I can't even but guess. apparently, this game took three and a half years to develop. Wow. Which is a lot of development time for a two-hour game. Like yeah. I absolutely see that this was not a return value. Like this was yeah. absolutely an art piece and yes. not an investment. I mean, I could imagine. There's a lot of like, I imagine there's a lot of coding that had to go into the way that the world flows and works and moves and stuff. 
and QA and stuff. We didn't counter a single glitch, I don't think. Like, uh, it was very the, well put together. The game was designed to be best played in a single city, and he suggested not investigating too much into the game before playing it as it would ruin the experience. I feel that. Um, inspiration of the game's ideas also came from the game Eco. The game was directed oh, for the target audience of older gamers who have been playing games their whole life and are tired of solving puzzles and instead simply wanting an audiovisual experience without frustrating or repetitive gameplay. However, that's an interesting choice. And the developers still wanted to include some challenge to the game so that it was not simply a walking simulator. So it was meant to be a short experience for the creative director, noted like other adults, he lacked the time to play larger 100 hour games such as Witcher 3. That is literally my life. I hate when games are just long for the sake of having you do junk that doesn't oh, matter. Oh, yeah. It's See, like, that's why that's why Miles I Morales, I feel like it's so much better than Spider Man yeah, PS4. I, yeah. I because feel that. it's like cut all the fat. Right, like, there's right, nothing right. that's unnecessary. Everything yeah. is absolutely necessary. That's awesome. Yeah, um, no, I, I really respect the developers design purpose i guess i don't know if it was carried out perfectly but i do just I, I can respect his like intent i guess i feel that the game aesthetic was largely inspired by modern art and is developed from the beginning of the 20th century the game's developer tale of tales wait the game's developer tale of tales was also cited as an influence in the design of the game maybe the developers a, of tale of tales which is a different game yeah were influences to this game maybe yes yeah i think it was just as well as the weird. digital art of demo scene the idea of a dancing main character was not added from the beginning of development. Rather, after one and a half years in develop development, the developers were disappointed with how similar a typical game character her movements looked yeah. and were inspired by videos, by a video of modern jazz dance to change their oh, movements to, uh, to those of the dancer. Motion capture was used yeah. for, for the dancer, Maria Udad, who was chosen due to her experience in both ballet and contemporary dance. In order to record her movements used by the protagonist, her choreographer was Machal Adam Garal. Every animation of the character was changed to a dance move. Okay, makes sense. Yeah, okay, so that's why the, the dancing feels tacked on and not related to the story at all, because it was tacked on and not related to the story at all. It was just to make the game not look like trash as a character walks through a world for no reason. Um... The game's developers were forced to sacrifice visual effects for performance. They did not want the game to run with motion blur or frame rate drops due to the hardware limitations of the PS4. I feel that. The game runs at a stable 60 frames. Nice. Uh, and uh, the director believes that any lower than 60 would not be the proper way to experience the game. Interesting. Uh, in 2016 October, there was a patch that enabled PSVR compatibility. Oh, interesting. Which would be really interesting. Yeah. Yeah, I kind of, I get that feeling of like, it, I wonder what, visual design aspects they were going for because I felt like there's a lot of visual design aspects here. Yeah. Um, that managed, the fact that they managed to get it to run so smoothly is is pretty cool. Um, but yeah. What are you looking for? Um, it said that they added a, a patch that had 4K support. Oh, interesting. But I don't see. Is it just running? Know. What is permanent picture on the bottom? That's the new That's the new setting. Uh, if turned on, Vignette, film color, and color frames adjusted in the photo mode will remain. Okay, so what you leave in photo mode would just be oh, what are, that's how the cool. game plays. That is an interesting idea. Yeah, interesting. Um, anyway, but yeah, that's that's bound. That was um, bound. So Good are we going to give it our unofficial Zoink score? Yes, I do have an unofficial Zoink score in mind. Okay. Um, here's the thing. As per usual, mine's a little wishy washy. So I feel like you should give yours, and I'll be like, I'll be like, all right, this is what I was thinking. B. Oh, it's also going to B. Wow, we hit the same one. Yay. We did it. Okay, so mine was leaning towards a B plus, though, because that's why I was wishy-washy. But I, I did I did want to give it a B. Like, before you even said it, I was like, no, nah, I'm going to settle on a B, whatever he says. And then you said B. Uh -huh. <laughs> There's no proof of this. Uh, you just have to believe yeah, me. Yeah, so as far, yeah, again, recommendation system. And this is absolutely not for everybody. I no, think this game not is even remotely. for an adult. Absolutely. Think, uh, this is absolutely not for, like, I wouldn't even say this is for, like, you, maybe 16, 17-year-old minimally like age wise i'm not like, even sure that minimally. yeah no this is i feel like you'd have to be old enough to at least know someone who's like in a relationship with a child <laughs> like uh, well, like I a mean, parent or something well i was gonna say like at minimally just because i feel like the time you're 16 or 17 you've already seen the faults of your family maybe yeah um but i mean me personally right i'm however old i am i am a parent yeah uh my family growing up structurally wasn't the best but i mean they were all together like no one left yeah, or whatever right um but because of the events that happened in my life, my family has been torn apart. Like yeah. the one I made, like with my dog. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah. And yeah, there was a bad guy and I am not that person. Yeah. So, <laughs> so um, like I totally get, yeah. I mean, the buildup to it's like, uh, I totally get over the whole like, you know what? 
there's a lot of things you have to get over and accept it so you can like get on with life. And clearly she's about to be a mother and like she doesn't want that. It's like the yeah. whole point of this. Is she doesn't yeah. want these bad experiences to cross over into her family. Yeah. So she's ripping them out. She's tearing them yeah. apart and she's finally trying to. Now that she's going to be a parent, yeah. I think maybe, you know, this is the amends. Like, hey, you're about to be a grandfather. Do yeah. You, this is your chance to right. fix it. Right. Do you want to be a part of this new family yeah. that's being created? Because you like, already gave up on the last one. This is your last this chance. Is your, yeah. yeah. And like clearly he's doing whatever he did, he's doing well, right? He has yeah. a, a big like, yeah. oh, three yeah. story house on the beach. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, no. He's like clearly like Mondo Rich. Like, yeah. No, whatever he did. This guy appears to be rather wealthy. Yeah. It um, worked. So, and to be fair, if I didn't have a child, I would be rather wealthy. But, yeah. Um, that's very wealthy, though. He has like a two-story yeah, yeah. house on the beach. On the on beach, the beach. Yeah, like, no, yeah. like it was like two-story house, but one of those two-story house, like it had a basement. Yeah, like, it's garage. like clearly not in the middle of nowhere, as there's a massive mansion in the background. Yeah, yeah. So it's like rich boy area. And there's like a pier. Yeah, yeah. No, this is like clearly like he bought wealthy, wealthy, wealthy property. Yeah, you um, can even see like from the lamp posts that like you know beaches usually don't have lamp posts leading to the beach. Yeah, usually yeah. it's just like sand. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, so. this is like stinky rich area. Um. But yeah, so yeah, I don't know. I, but for me, I would say, yeah, I don't know. Like, I feel like you could be a certain age where you could appreciate it. But I feel like the, I feel like the minimum or the, the maximum appreciation comes from, uh, well, like most would be if you live through like a very similar experience. But like next to that, I would say like at least I feel like the developer probably wants you to be old enough to reflect on your family. And so like you said, probably like 16 or 17, you can start doing that. But I feel like at least if you've ever moved away for like, you know, if you went to like college or for whatever reason, or if you just moved out because of life reasons, yeah. Like if you've ever had time to reflect on your family away from your family to see what like life you're is not like reliant outside. on them. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, a, a big problem that I feel like people don't really understand, um, and it's actually something I honestly I don't mean to like toot my own horn as I usually do, uh, but being able to see something from an outside perspective, like outside your own opinion and other opinions, and just kind of intake what it is and then reshape your own opinion. Yeah, I feel like it's very hard to see the issues with your own family. Yeah. Until you you do go away. Like yeah. so you can get other experiences. Like moving right. away and seeing is like, you know what? No, this isn't normal. Yeah. Or exactly. like, you know what? Like you or know, at least like it doesn't have to be that way. Like, yeah. Because you can you can figure out what you want for your own life once you've moved away. Yeah. And, like even even like with the kids playing on the bed and like the mom's like yelling at them when they're playing or whatever. Yeah. It's like, you know, you look at that and you can be like, Man, we were just kids playing, man. Yeah. Like, you know, maybe if when there's my, a better way to handle it. Like, yeah, like yeah. it could have been just, hey, like, you guys need to clean up this mess. You know? Right. It was, it was like, like I get that it was like dangerous and I was breaking stuff and like clearly I wasn't in the right like yeah, I was a kid but yelling and screaming but and, yeah that's not yeah, the best way to handle it's like, it like I don't want to have this so it's like yeah a lot of these things like heck man I've I've moved away you've moved away yeah um, and then you know we both came back to wherever it is we are yeah and you know very right. different experiences we had yeah, <laughs> yeah we <laughs> so, moved away for very different reasons yeah for very different reasons and I'm moving away reasons. again I'm moving away two hours away from I'm, wherever I, it is we are yeah and so like you know i'm gonna i'm gonna be back in that situation where it's like i get to choose my life kind of on its own merits whatever um and like separate like very separately from from anywhere near my family yeah. <laughs> so uh, i mean even like my end goal like when i do finally finish school and like nicole yeah. grows up it's like outside of this country wherever it is and it's like not close it's like far like yeah <laughs> it's like yeah. across the world far yeah so i mean i don't know there's a lot of weird reflections. To yeah, look on, but yeah, but... I feel like this game gives you that opportunity to just kind of like see. It's like conceptually, like just thinking about what your family unit looks like and what this is an example of a lot of things that you can kind of catch where it's like, I think the idea is they're not done super well. <laughs> I don't think, yeah, I don't think anything here was like model parenting uh, or anything. Um, but, you know, it's just a matter of like, it gives you that opportunity to like reflect on your own life. And I don't know, it's cool. It's fun experience. Yeah, this is definitely another but, one of those instances where we didn't yeah. play a game. We experienced art. Right, exactly. So that was the other thing. That's what I was talking about. Grow up, grow home. The first one where I was like, yeah, this game, I would not give an A as a game because it, it fails a lot of places as a game. But as an experience, I'd give it an A just because of the fact that like... It's just an interactive art. Yeah, exactly. And this, I kind of feel the same way, where it's like as a game, I'd give it a B because it has lots of problems. But as an experience for the right person, absolutely an A. I think someone could like pull a lot out of this, especially depending on where you are in life. Yeah, I really do wonder what that VR function is. I, I wonder if like yeah. if it's like first person and there's like not even platforming. Like I really don't know That's how interesting. much... I was imagining yeah. it would just be kind of the same idea, but the camera would be your head. Basically, you could just move like freely, whatever. Uh, but that might give motion sickness, so I'm not sure. It would be interesting to see. Um, but yeah, so anyway, this has been Bound. I'm glad I was able to show it off on the channel. It's a good good time. Yeah, I, uh, I've i been looking forward to showing this for a long time. It's very short, very short playthrough, same idea as Wolf. Um, we've been talking for a long time. But uh, yeah. uh, we appreciate you guys. Thank you for stopping by again. Uh, I'm not sure what we're doing next exactly. 
Do we know what we're doing next exactly? Um, good question. I don't know. I I do have Hitman in the works. Yeah, that's Hitman right. Hitman Three. Yeah. Um, that uh, I could join you on some of those yeah. if you'd like. Right now, it is currently a just me series, but we'll yeah. see if we turn into a duo series. We do have another game plan for a duo series, but I'm not sure where that fits in. Oh, we have um, yeah, I wanted to play Super Liminal at some point. Yeah. Um, and then I also want to do. There's another one downloaded yeah. here. I don't know if you want to give too many do, games ahead of time. Yeah, no, 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 no. But um, I want to do Super Liminal first. So that I hope that's coming up. That'll be the next artsy game we do. Uh, as we do. Yeah, as we do. <laughs> trying to you know trying to broaden people's horizons out here. Um, so especially yes. because this is a good game and it's like yeah. a, a Sony exclusive. Yeah. And it's like backed by Sony Santa Monica. Like, yeah. And it was good. Like it was yeah, a good no, time. It was, it was fun. It and was it cool. was short. And it, it was, was very free. short. Like yeah, and it was yeah, free. Was a yeah. lot of things going on with it. Right. So. Definitely. And it seemed it was definitely a passion project. Like one billion percent. Like clearly. Oh yeah, three and a half years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. For a functionally two yeah. hours of games, and they like recommend like, oh yeah, try to beat it in less than an hour. Yeah, it's like, yeah, 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 yeah. It's interesting. That's a long time. I don't even know how much. Oh man, let's let's see if we can pull up that last thing. If we can pull up that development cost. Oh uh, yeah, was that on there? Uh, let me look. Okay, I'll give you give you a second. While I do my thing, where I talk to the audience in my sultriest of voices, and then I get real close to the microphone and I start doing that ASMR thing where I can just I just whisper, I just whisper whatever I want. It's a lot of put your pants things. back on. Fine. Oh shoot, I almost knocked over my mic again. Again? Again. Um, I don't see a development cost. That's okay. I don't think that's like normally reported. Currently costs only like twenty dollars to go, but uh, this was free. I don't know about uh, you guys uh, downloading every single PlayStation Plus game every single time, <laughs> yeah. but do it. Just if you got it, do it. Yeah, if you got PlayStation Same with Plus, games of gold. Got yeah, do it. Just yeah. download it every single. Day. Add it to nice your library because yeah, like this was a cool experience and it was yeah. free. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. Uh, but if you miss it, then you gotta hiss at it. Yeah. So and and honestly, twenty dollars for this experience, like if, twenty dollars. If I never played this, bit much. I, I would be know. like, yeah, I wouldn't pay for that. But now that I know that I spent three and a half years in development, yeah, it's I like, see why. Yeah, but, I yeah. totally see why it's twenty dollars. But I would not pay for it. That's and, still a lot. But you're not supposed to look up anything to play this game. Yeah. So it's like, yeah. no, this is absolutely like a PlayStation Plus game. Twenty dollars is a big ask. I would say Wolf is only ten dollars. Don't play Wolf. Don't play wolf. Don't play, play wolf. wolf. Don't play wolf. It's not finished. Don't play it. Don't play it. Don't even touch it. But if this were like on sale for like ten dollars on Steam or something, if anyone's on Steam, you can get games really heavily on sale. And I don't know what this goes. This oh no, it's PlayStation exclusive. exclusive. You're right. If this game ever goes on sale, though, for whatever reason, um, like I could see like five dollars, ten dollars. I would pay ten. Yeah, fifteen might be pushing it, but. 20 is too much <laughs> yeah you know i mean it's a cool game but like if it's like for you then like that would be a good price but there's no way for you to know <laughs> it's like because, so and even if you do know you've already spoiled like half the game right sure. exactly exactly it's too it's too much it's too much stink so i don't know 20 20 is a rough price but yeah if it were like ten dollars uh or five especially it was like steal for five um i guess that's it do you have any any closing thoughts no yeah this was fun i'm glad i got to do it go check out grow home if you haven't uh yeah grow home was good Check out Wolf. Don't buy it. Don't play it. But don't, check, check out the, uh, the playthrough on the though. channel. Yeah, it was it's a lot of very fun. funny. Oh, man. It was with Mel Moss Melissa, which is always a good time. Um, okay. Then we will see you guys again in whatever we do next. We're not sure what that's going to look like. It might be Hitman. It might be um, Super Liminal. It might be some other thing. Ooh, we'll see. And I'm still the one editing this. You know, I'm notoriously bad at that. Yeah. yeah or not yeah. bad at it, but notoriously bad at time scheduling. Yeah. So. I'm still doing tabs with Adam mostly. Um that's kind of like my big thing. Go check that out on Fridays or Saturdays, whichever day we stream every other one. And Wolf is over for me, the... so I don't know what's happening next there. But uh, stuff to do, lots to do. So we'll we'll keep moving forward. We'll yeah. keep pushing onwards. Zoinkeister. die. Goodbye. <laughs> Mario. <laughs> Thank you.